Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. If the sun is messing with the lighting in this video, I apologize. It's right there in front of me and it's really bright and really hot out here. Anyway, we're gonna do a breakdown on Federal's Top Gun 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, 1200 FPS as advertised. Three dram, one and one eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. Again, channeling my inner Paul Harrell. What makes this one unique is it has the paper wad which I think is really cool. If you missed it, we did a breakdown on the Top Gun Steel with the paper wad, one ounce steel, seven and a halfs. Those were really cool. So we have the lead shot version, one and one eighth ounces. Again, seven and a half shot though. These are made in the USA. Done showed you the top of the box, read the specs off. The front of the box just says Federal and it has the paper wad logo down here, Top Gun and a picture of a clay on it. These are obviously intended for shooting clays and small game, targets, things like that. The side of the box says Federal Top Gun Loads Paper Wad produces clay breaking patterns while leaving less plastic in the field. Exclusive paper wad, high quality lead payload, consistent reliable primer, select clean burning propellant, cellulose based filler, paper gas sealing over powder wad. The bottom of it is just warnings. If you guys want to read any of this, just pause it. The back of the box shows the interesting stuff, however. that right, All this stuff right here is just what I literally just read off to you guys, so nothing new there. More warnings. And here we have the 3D cutaway of the shell. You can see our paper wad, which if you haven't seen the steel shot video, it's not really a wad. It is more of a tube. It's just a cardboard tube. Imagine an empty roll of paper towels, but a lot thicker and obviously a lot smaller. You can see our powder charge down here. Then we have, I think I mispronounced powder, but our fiber gas seal, which is really cool. It's kind of a hard uh, maxi nitro card type material. Really cool. Our cellulose based filler. That was also in the steel shot. It takes up all the excess space. And then we have our lead shot. And these are fold crimped with a eight point fold. More warnings. If you guys again want to read it, just pause it. If it's in focus, of course. And the bottom of the box is nothing at all of note. Just a barcode and some info about where Federal is and all that other stuff. So just your fairly typical Federal Top Gun box. Nothing special. I do like the blue and black and green together though if that matters to anyone. And once again, I am very happy Federal has something like this on the market because it seems more and more places around the world, not so much here in the USA, but definitely other parts of the world are moving away from allowing plastic wads in their field or gun ranges, anything like that. You have to use fiber uh, wads now. So yeah, this being on the market now is a very, very good thing in my opinion. It seems a lot of the comments on the original not original, but the steel version of this video I did seem to agree with me that this is a very cool thing to have on the market and a much needed addition. And I guess it's better later than never. Moving on to our haul here though, it is just a regular Federal Top Gun. The only difference being this says paper wad on it, but three dram, one and one eighth ounce, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch, 70 millimeter, we do have a very, very nice eight point crimp on it. It is nice and deep set and a little bit of a taper on top. So overall, very nice looking shell. It does have an eight millimeter brass head. Although as we know, I say this about every time, it is steel, not brass. It is brass plated steel. Head stamp says 12 gauge federal. That one is very well formed. And we have a 209A primer. This one is actually a lot cooler than their regular 209A primer. This one has a copper washed actual primer in there in the primer cup. Said primer quite a bit there. But anyway, this one is just getting cut up today. I'm not gonna, you know, lift the crimp and everything like that. I want to try to get the fiber wads and everything in here out without mangling it at all because in the steel shot version, the pliers I was using to do it kind of uh, tore up the wad a little bit and I had to use a screw to pull out the base wad because it was a really really tight fit as is the paper shot cup it's not really a shot cup once again it's just a tube but the 
wads, if you want to call them that, in here are very, very tight fitting. So, again, just going to cut this one up. Okay, so starting with the shot, we have right at one and one eighth ounces, which is always nice to see. Advertised payloads and all that. And you can see the, uh, whatever they called it, filler stuff in there. But yeah, mixed with the shot, looks pretty cool. Let's check out a closer view of that. And here's what that looks like. And as is usual for federal target loads, you can see some of the shot is, well, it's mixed sizes. A lot of it, not a lot of it, but some of it is malformed pellets. Some of them are oval, egg-shaped. But that's just how it is with cheap federal target loads and, you know, some other brands too. But yeah, there is our material they use for filler. Looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like tiny, I don't know, pieces of corn or something. Nuts, I don't know. And moving down to our wad, this one is actually a lot better put together than the one from the steel shot load this one is actually much lighter in color and it's not frayed at all now it's frayed on top but the steel shot one that i had i probably caused most of the fraying i don't know but this is a lot nicer looking i would say it's still two pedal looks like you know seven eighth cut they can't really do full cut on this because obviously if they did then it'd be uh two pieces but Again, this is more of a Sabo rather than a wad or a shot cup. I'm really interested in trying to recreate these. I really like the design. And, uh, oh, by the way, a couple people have reached out and offered to send me some actual fiber shot cups. Wads, and you know, it's an actual wad is what I meant to say. From uh, overseas, so I'm pretty excited to get those. I should have them in both 12 and 10 gauge. They're three and a half inch wads and they are true fiber wads just like this but you know it's a uh, got a built-in gas seal all that they look really cool and here's our fiber gas seal this time completely intact not destroyed like i you know done it last one with the steel shot i'm saying you know a lot anyway here is our haul i did just cut this one up as I said I was going to because I wanted to pull the components out intact and not destroyed. But this is once again a Federal Top Gun. Nothing special to see here. It has a low plastic base wad and a 209A primer. I hope this camera is focusing because I cannot see my phone screen very well. It is very bright out here and nearly 100 degrees. Um, wherever you guys are at right now, comment below and let me know the temperature outside where you are. Because this is insane here in Kentucky. I am not a fan of this heat. It just won't go away. Anyway, moving on to the powder. I guess I'll show you what it looks like first and then weigh it. But it's just more of Federal's black flake powder that we, again, commonly see in most of their target loads. Looks pretty nice. Nothing unusual there. All right, let's get a weight of the charge. Camera will not stay focused. And for a charge, we have 21 and a half. Well, it was saying that for a second anyway, before the wind picked up. Yeah, 21 and a half of, that, again, the black flake powder. Nothing unusual there. It appears to be a medium to fast burning powder, not quite a regular medium speed. But yeah, absolutely nothing special to see here with the powder. We done showed you the hull. Let's slap this back together. I'll put it in a clear Fiocchi just so you guys can see the uh, shell put together in a clear hull. I think that might actually look really cool. One second. Well, guys, here you go. I uh, have a couple of them done up. They are in clear Fiocchi hulls now, and they honestly look really, really cool. I'm actually really glad Federal has done something like this with both lead and steel. These are awesome to me and i can't wait to have the fiber wads to try to come up with my own stuff namely buckshot of course and well i me and josh might actually try recreating these wads right here obviously we can come up with fiber gas seals that's no problem nitro cards and all that but for a paper shot cup that might take a little little work figuring out maybe we can use tal fighter mouse's uh toilet paper trick where he you know gets it wet and compresses it and you know, that might actually, I said you know again, that might actually work if we can figure out how to shape it into a three-quarter inch diameter, outside diameter. I don't think I showed you the crimps. Well, they look really, really good. Lee Lodol and a Got B&2. 
and a Rabassator, you can't really beat that combination. You get factory looking crimps just about every single time. Anyway, I just want to give a big thanks to the guy who sent me the gift card to be able to get these and the Federal Flight Control Buckshot and the steel ones. So yeah, thanks to, uh, I don't know if you want named, so thanks anyway. But yeah, guys, I guess that's going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Love these things.